First thing we're going to do, we're going to connect the motors and the ECs. As you see, as you can see, it is going to be a very tight build, and we're going to need to cut the mot the motor wires like as close as we can to the motor. Be careful not to cut too much of this wire because it's going to uh, ruin the motor and you won't be able to use it. So I'm going to just leave a little bit of space so we can put it on the arms. There's another option of buying this 4-in-1 ESCs. Uh, just, you can just place it. Probably it's gonna be a better option than buying these ones, but I already have this. The other ones weren't out when I purchased this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut the wires, connect it to the EC, and I'm going to mount it on the board. We are going to repeat this process for the rest of the ESCs and motors. I'm done with all the ESCs and I also added here a material called Plastidip that covers it with rubber. I think it's gonna be a bit more durable. And maybe I'll also cover this with uh, black coating. Next thing we're going to do, I just connected these standoffs here. These are about six millimeter standoffs. I recommend to use just a, a bit smaller ones. I just don't have any other smaller than smaller than this. So uh, use the smallest one you've got. And I'm going to solder the JST connector to the flight controller. I'm going to solder it from the bottom of this uh, frame. So it's gonna sit like that. And we are going to connect it to the flight controller. So now the JST cable is connected. And you can see when we power it on, it is working. By the way, I've just confirmed using this multimeter uh, tester tool that the minus and the plus of the ESCs are as written here, which means this is minus, plus, plus and minus, and minus, plus, plus and minus. So exactly as it's written on the flight controller. What we're going to do, we're going to connect the motors to the frame. I recommend to prepare all the pads for the ECs and then I'm going to start soldering the ECs to the board. I finished connecting all the ECs and I connected the motors. It's a good idea to test while you're, uh, while you're uh, connecting the motors that the ECs, the, they're working by connecting to plane fly and just check the motor tabs because I found that one of the soldering of the uh, motor to the EC wasn't that good, so it wasn't working. So I have checked that everything was working and it it, uh, it is working properly. My soldering were weren't down. These are not the best soldering job, but I'm sure you will do better than that. It might be a good option to change the position of the ECs instead of putting them here, to put them on the bottom of the uh, frame. The reason I didn't do it, I think it's a little bit too fragile. I, f I feel that here they are a bit more protected, but if you were, want an easier job of soldiering process, you should put it on the bottom of the frame. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to connect the FR Sky receiver, and it's going to sit here on this port. Because I'm using SBUS, I will have to solder these two pads here.